boys and girls. So today I'm going to read a little bit of Scholastic News. Have you ever seen these? Well, Scholastic has a little pamphlet. I guess you could say like a mini version of a, of a magazine for children. And this one is called Grow, Grow, Grow Your Boat. I don't know if you caught it. I showed it really fast. You know what the boat is made out of? Pumpkin. A pumpkin. Grow, grow, grow your boat. No, I'm not going to sing it. Every year, some towns have boat races, but the boats are a little strange. Can you tell what they're made of? We know, but it says hint. It's something that we can pick in autumn. A pumpkin! Now that's huge! She means she's actually sitting in the pumpkin. Should I even ask if you've ever done that? I can tell you I haven't. I've never grown and sat in a pumpkin and rode it on a lake. Done many things, but not that. All right. How to grow a pumpkin boat. If you want a pumpkin boat, you need to grow a giant pumpkin first. And it takes a lot of work. I'm gonna show you some of the things that it says to do. Okay. You could take notes. <laughs> Maybe grow your own ginormous pumpkin. Start with a seed. A giant pumpkin grows from a seed. But not just any pumpkin seed will grow into a giant. You must plant a seed that comes from a giant pumpkin. So now we have to locate a giant pumpkin? In three. The, oh, see? I should have known. It comes with a little price tag, if you know what I mean. It's a little scratch. It means money. You must plant a seed that comes from a giant pumpkin. These seeds can be very expensive. One seed can cost as much as $1,600. All right, I'm gonna just probably watch. But be my guest if you wanna try to get your hands on a pumpkin seed. Next, you have to add water and your giant pumpkin seeds, or your seeds for your giant pumpkin, I should say. Giant pumpkins need a lot of water, and farmers give giant pumpkin plants three whole barrels of water a day? Do you know how big a barrel is? That's a lot of water. Give it extra care. <clears throat> Your pumpkin shouldn't get too hot or too cold. You'll need to give it extra, extra love and care. It says it right here. You'll need to give your pumpkin shade from the sun <clears throat> during the day. And if it gets hot, it might blow up. Oh, this is high maintenance. This is a high maintenance pumpkin. You'll also need to keep it from getting cold, too cold at night. Cover it with a blanket. Sweet dreams, giant pumpkin. After a few, you have to like sing it a lullaby? You have to cover it with a blanket? Lullaby and good night. Let the angels of light spread their wings around your bed or your pumpkin. May they guard you from dread. Slumber gently and deep in a dreamland of sleep. Slumber gently and deep. In the dreamland of sleep. You gotta take care of that pumpkin for $1,600. Carve the pumpkin. After a few months, your hard work is done. Your pumpkin is all grown, and if you're lucky, it will be big enough to be a boat. Now, it's time to carve the pumpkin. It won't take too long. Giant pumpkins are mostly hollow. That means they're mostly empty inside. Scoop all the slimy guts out of the pumpkin, but don't throw it all out. You'll want to save the seed so that you can grow another one. I gotta think ahead. 
paddle your boat. It's finally time to race. Put on a fun costume, climb into your pumpkin boat. Don't tip over. Into the water, then get ready, get set, and paddle. Look at this little boy. It almost looks like one of those giant pumpkins from one of my other books that I showed you. The pumpkin book, doesn't it? Remember when we were talking about giant pumpkins? Maybe this is a famous little boy. Maybe he and his family are always growing giant pumpkins. I don't know. Uh, you might not win your first pumpkin race, but you already did something incredible. You grew a giant pumpkin. I don't know, so what do you think? Would you want to do that? Would you want to go? I mean, if someone had one for me, I would say, sure. But that's a lot of work and a lot of money. But it's an interesting news, isn't it? Fantastic. Okay, so this is the pumpkin life, life cycle. Look at the life cycle. A sprout grows from a seed. See that? The sprout grows into a vine and the vine has yellow blossoms. Yellow blossoms there. The blossom dies and a small green pumpkin appears. Yeah. See it? The pumpkin grows, it turns orange, and that's when it's ready to be picked. Yeah. All right. Pretty cool. What does the sprout go at, grow out of? It's cute little questions here. Is it a seed, a blossom, or a vine? A seed. Where are the yellow blossoms? On the sprout, on the seed, or on the vine? On the vine. Right here, right? What do you think, it, think is another word for blossom? Is it a pumpkin, a flower, or a leaf? He said flower, right. What is the pumpkin's first color? Ooh, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Did you say it? You didn't say orange, did you? Because it's not. The first color, orange, brown, or green? It's green, that's right. All right. So that's a little interesting bit of information on a pumpkin boat. All right, well, I'll catch you learners. We're gonna row out of here. <laughs> Next time, oh, where's my watch? It's time for a new watch. And uh, get your paddles ready to paddle out of here. Learning zone. Bye friends.